Now, tonight's top stories and tomorrow's forecast in the first five minutes. New tonight at 11, angry people living in DeKalb County showed up at a public hearing designed to talk about a tax allocation district, a way to bring in new revenue for infrastructure improvements. The TAD would be created around North Druid Hills and Briarcliff Roads. As CBS 46's Jennifer Merrily reports, people there believe it's actually a way to help bring a big company in. Growth is coming, regardless of what happens tonight, growth is com coming. Growth was on the minds of many at the Sacab County Board of Commissioners public hearing. The only question is whether we're going to stand by and just let it happen or whether we're going to try to get out in front. People got to voice their opinion about a tax allocation district, a way commissioners say to bring in money for infrastructure improvements. Yeah, I don't believe the monies will go where they're needed. I don't believe that the public space improvements, the sidewalks, the bike paths, the turning lanes that everyone keeps talking about are what's going to get funded. The opposition believes the TAD is a way to make room for a massive and controversial $1 billion mixed space project proposed by Sembler. Right now it does not tie into the Sembler project. Certainly we know that that is the elephant in the room and that is something that really spurred all of us to get going and saying we need to do something to protect these neighborhoods. Assemblers looking to build up the area around North Druid Hills and Briarcliff. The TAD could move Assemblers' plans into high gear. Why should the taxpayer have to fund Assemblers' expansion? Some speakers were for the expansion, saying the TAD is needed to alleviate traffic. As a professional, I want to let you know that this tax allocation district makes a lot of sense. Even if no more rezonings take place, the Board of Commissioners plans to vote on the TAD at their next meeting on December 11th. Now, one of the most recognizable projects in Metro Atlanta funded by a TAD, this whole development here behind me, known as Atlantic Station. Reporting live in Midtown Atlanta, Jennifer Merrily, CBS 46 News.